Hey guys and welcome back to Let It Die. Uh, today we're going to be covering a weapon that I just found in my vault and I was like, oh, shit, yeah, yeah we should probably, probably cover that. Uh, it is a nail gun. Have we covered? I, maybe we have, but it was a very shitty equivalent. This one is five star and it's plus four. So it is the strongest possible equivalent that you can get, I think. <laughs> I think it has 350 nails, I guess. Wow, <laughs> that's pretty impressive uh, in terms of its magazine, although it is a fast firing weapon, uh, but the assault rifle only has like, what is it, 240? It's not, it's not that much difference actually. <laughs> Anyways, um, the nail gun, it deals 1000 damage but fires very quickly, durability 170, guard power C, uh, max ammo 350, and its rage move cost 2. Its rage move, from my understanding, isn't that great, it's called nail shower. Um, it says fires multiple bullets in a 180 um, forward. He basically just swings with a wide arc with his hands right in front of him and that anything in that area gets tapped <laughs> with uh, with nails. That don't do like a lot of damage necessarily. Yeah, yeah. Maybe if he like held it down, he'd keep firing and doing that. That'd be kind of cool, but no, it doesn't do that. <laughs> so yeah, uh, we're, gonna we're gonna go up against Gato. I have no idea about this thing's power. Yeah, almost every single one of uh, of the gun-like weapons in the game are amazing. The only one that's not <laughs> is the shotgun. Although, uh, this weapon is not playing off the Barbarian Deco, which almost all the guns in the game do. So maybe we're going to be like, uh-oh, ah, <laughs> oh, it's nothing. Which also could explain why the shotgun is so trash, <laughs> just because it doesn't play off Barbarian. But still. Oh, also you can't aim down sights with it because it's not a two-hand weapon. It makes it. Uh, I wanted to film one more video, by the way. That's why I'm, I look the same. I was planning on just jumping in, getting my upgrading my pants, but then I was like, you know what? We can we can fucking make a video. <laughs> we can film one more. Also, we have the lightning wand or just the wand, fire wand, because <laughs> because that's it. Um, but yeah, I think high damage or high fire rate weapons are really good when it comes to critical stuff, in which I have none of it. Oh. My damage is being a bit finicky there. It's like my shots just start stop going <laughs> or they fall out of existence. I don't know, but we got some blackmail. Nice, 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 nice. Fuck. <laughs> Does the weird like claw arm thing. Oh, it is. It's whole, it has like a ruby. I'm not sure if you guys can see. I'm probably zooming in, but yeah, it has like rings on it. Weird. Never knew that. Now, the true question is, can it handle big Gato? Um, apparently Gato has a weakness to guns. I don't, <laughs> I think, I don't know, when you guys, you guys always yell at me and tell me these things, and I just never get through my head. Oh, by the way, a while ago, I, I was mentioning what my, my E3 predictions are, and by the time this gets to you, it may actually be very, very close, E3. Uh, but, but, my E3 prediction was that we're going to see a Saints Row sequel, or just another Saints Row game from Volition. Um, my other one that I, I just blanking on, uh, was I think we're going to see um, another Devil May Cry, uh, like a Devil May Cry 5 specifically. Which, by the way, oh my god, I fucking love Devil May Cry so, so painfully much. I might be alone in this, but I really loved and thought that the remake uh, DMC was just amazing. I thought it was awesome. I know a lot of people were like, that's not my Dante, <laughs> or whatever, or like being being hypercritical about it. I couldn't get it. I just, I thought it was awesome. And you know, you guys are entitled to your opinion, all that stuff, but I don't know. To me, I just felt like the criticism for it were just a bit shitty, <laughs> you know? Yeah. It did good about killing Gato. It wasn't like eviscerating him, though. Well, no, it did. It, it was like three seconds of like just shooting him, so maybe it did do better than I'm giving it credit for. We're building up rage. I think the harder you hold it down, the better it does. No, I think when he's red, he has a resistance. But I can do this. There's nothing. And now the resistance is gone, so we can go ahead and do this. Okay, I tried rolling, it didn't happen, it didn't happen at all. Got him! He's about to jump! <laughs> He's about to jump! Ooh, look at the thumbnail! 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 God fucking damn, it's so hard <laughs> to get thumbnail. Keep getting lucky with this candy uh, wolf stuff. That was like the one of the best updates uh, for the game, easily. Uh, well, well, it was the second best update for the game, where they actually made bosses drop metal at a good rate, so it wasn't just impossible to get better armor or just farming the bosses because there's like to farm a boss and then to not get the metal you need is like oh 
why would I do this? <laughs> why would I not just use the wandering shop? Uh, there was one more game. Again, I'm blanking out on it. I don't remember what it was. I, my, I had like three in my brain um, when I was listening to like podcasts um, from like gaming journalism stuff, people, whatever, <laughs> um, that were talking about games that they thought were going to come out and reasons why they were going to come out. Um, and if you believe their reasoning, one of their reasoning was that uh, Volition... I think they, they're in like a bad place right now. The person was saying that the smartest move for Volition uh, because of the place where their company is in right now is they have to make another Saints Row because it's by far their best selling series. So they can't really dabble. <laughs> they need to go to their heaviest hitter in order to make enough money to keep staying afloat. Apparently, something like that. Uh, they did Agents of Mayhem, which I thought was fun. I liked it a lot. I didn't... If you were to ask me, would you rather have a Saints Row sequel or uh, Agents of Mayhem? I'd rather have a Saints Row sequel. I, I like, I love the. I feel like not a lot of people do that well, um, but Volition and and that company specifically. I think Volition's also the people that made a Red Fraction uh, Gorilla, which is awesome. And both those games have a system of like conquest, which I fucking love. Uh, I think it's such a fun mechanic, especially when they do it. Oh wow. <laughs> okay. Instant kill, but you weren't wearing any armor, so it's not the best showcase. But still, uh, do I wanna die and go dead? No, I do not. <laughs> so we're just gonna not. Um, but it, it one shot that person. I, I don't think it would be far off to say that it would two shot another person. Then again, armor resistance is a huge factor, especially when up top side here. But it's good. <laughs> it's a good weapon. Let's go to the TDM and use it just a tad. Uh, but I think you're fine if you want to invest in this thing. Oh, by the way, yeah, this weapon is, is really good to equip on your fighter. Um, yeah. It, it will prioritize rage if it does gain it, which does gain rage quite quickly because it's just a fast-firing weapon. But, uh, yeah, I think, I think if you put this on a defender specifically, oh, that's going to be a problem. But it doesn't typically do enough damage to be like, oh, fuck. <laughs> like, oh, problems. Uh, however, it is still very good to equip on your defender. Now, I imagine if you have two in hand, and you have that special deco called Dual Wield, I think it's called, or something like that. It's basically the Reverse Barbarian, where if you have single-use weapons in both hands, it maximally doubles the damage or something like that. That could be good. <laughs> that could be good. Let's go for 34, even though none of the... I think all of these people... I've <laughs> I feel like if you go to the very bottom of Ranked, you're going to get people that are specifically there to try to kill you because they know that that's what people do. Uh, so you have people that have like characters with bazookas and like special decals that give them rage so they can send a heat-seeking heat missile at you <laughs> and shit like that. And uh, they also never have money so that there's nothing to lose if they do get stolen from. Just crazy. <laughs> just, just mad. Uh, but yes, I think this weapon is going to do just, just fine. <laughs> just fine. Uh-oh. Oh, wow. That actually, he's pretty leveled up. Also, I'm dying from my own dumb weapon. Yeah, you have the iron, you fucking liar. <laughs> you fucking liar. Are you kidding me? Was that a heat-seeking stun ball or something? What is that? Yeah, yeah. See, every one of these people has a snipe rifle that most likely can one-shot me. Luckily, I have this weapon, though, which is equally as dumb. <laughs> I wonder how hard... Let's go look at the resources that it takes to make this, because... This could be one of those weapons that's probably worth it. Like, especially just the fact that it's ranged. I have to, I can just stay away from people. And it doesn't lock you in place like you'd think. Also, I think the reload's pretty fast. And, and the range is pretty godly as well. Yeah, this person was clearly meaning to, like, fuck shit up. <laughs> yeah. By the way, what is its alternative hit? Just that? I think that's not bad either. That's quite quickly. That's quite a fast attack. How good is the damage? Not that good. Yeah, not that good, I don't think at all. But we can't do this, right? I don't even care about this weapon. Oh, we can do its special rage move. Uh, check this out. Alright. Check this out. That's what it does. And it did it didn't it didn't have enough damage to break this thing, so you know. Not great. <laughs> not great. However, just obliterated everyone else because they were low level, but I think it's still good. Like a thousand damage per hit and it fires extremely quick. Yeah, it's fine. It's fine. It's gonna do a lot of damage. What do you want from me? <laughs> what do you want from me? I really like those pants though. They look awesome. I, you know, the blood that looks like it's it's right around my heels makes me feel like it's my blood. Which makes me feel like, oh god, that must there must be scabbing happening all all around his ankles and shit. Ah, ah, fuck. <laughs> also your bottom heel, I don't maybe you're just walking through blood. I don't know. 
<laughs> I have no idea. Is this done making it yet? I think it's like two hours, it said. Probably not. <laughs> probably not. Uh, it is, oh uh, yeah, probably about an hour and 30 or something like that. But, uh, now, <laughs> the question is, is, are, is the fancy lagging S going to be gold or just yellow? <laughs> just like a really bright piss kind of yellow. I feel like it's, yeah, probably the yellow. But then, but then it becomes uh, nice and uh, black with, with uh, designed gold fancy swivels or something. I don't know. But it looks really cool. Um, I, can I also upgrade the helmet? I might want to try to double do that like at the same time. Yeah, the helmet doesn't cost that much to level. Unlike the other one, it doesn't ask for like pounds and pounds of silk. <laughs> and yeah. Anyways, uh, regardless, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. As always, my name is Logan and or Frost. That brings us to the end of the video. Um, I didn't do the greatest job <laughs> with showcasing this weapon because I wasn't even sure if I was going to be making this video. Uh, but it's mastery, <laughs> which is why I am I hate it. I forgot to cover that. Weapons mastery, I do believe I have almost, if not fully maxed out. Am I a liar? Let's find out. Nope, I am not. Um, Yeah, just five damage, five damage. Uh, nail gun smash. Didn't really get a showcase then. Apologies. <laughs> um, It didn't seem like it did a lot of damage. Uh, it's rage move is useless. Never use it's rage move. <laughs> Kill coins. Yeah, it only has one little factor, which is it's uh, it's nail gun smash. It doesn't have anything that's like the. Th I thought maybe there'd be something where like the longer you hold down the trigger, the more damage the next nail does. Some kind of like overheating thing. I don't know. But no, <laughs> it is not the case. Oh, also, I want to check out real quick what uh, it costs to make this thing. I, I realize like I only have the first little bit, so it won't be telling. Uh, veg vegetable oil and aluminum can. Also DOD. I mean, it's only three things. Three materials in general. It's not that bad compared to this, which is like six or something. <laughs> or this, that's it's 13. Are you kidding me? <laughs> what? Oh, uh, that's for the beginning. Oh, God, that's terrible. Anyways, regardless, it seems like it's a very attainable weapon as well. And it probably is just great. Anyways, guys, that was the nail gun. <laughs> um, the nail gun is very, very good. It looks very, very detailed as well. Um, and yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's the end of the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. As always, my name is Logan and or Frost. Subscribe button above me. Two videos to my right. Thank you so much for your time. And goodbye.